Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Champions of Meandir Gameplay. I'm Alvin, the designer and game director for Champions, and today I'm here with Nick and George. If you're new here and want to learn how to play this game, check out our Learn to Play Champions of Meandir video playlist. Link to it will be in the video description. Okay, let's go ahead and introduce the decks that we'll be playing today, starting with Nick. Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be playing another Mauricio deck. Uh, last time he was uh, trying to start a revolution. This time he's just uh, going back to his roots and exploring some of the more natural inspirations for writing a poem. Uh -huh. So we have a Zimwe deck, uh, heavily into the purple and the green alignments with a, a touch of red here. Interesting, interesting. Haven't seen a Zimwe alignment combination themed deck for a long time, so this is, this is really awesome. All right, yeah. next up we have George. Hey everyone, I'm here today with a Tajara Mia deck. Uh, the deck is called Mischief Makers. It's a homage to one of my favorite N64 games of all time of the same name. And I took elements from the game of like how I can make Mia's uh, play style work with the way that my brain works. Oh, so hopefully okay. you're going to see something really tricky. It's going to seem like I'm puzzling myself into a corner. Hopefully it works out. Not sure exactly. Mm -hmm. So you said Tajara, eh? That's a very interesting alignment combination for Mia. So kind of interested to see what you came up with there. That's interesting. And today I'm playing Harmony, Carefree Idealist. Harmony has decided to organize a summertime picnic for her and her friends. Now, it's supposed to be a chill and relaxing event. Problem is, she's invited a lot of people to the picnic. Some people she hasn't seen for a long time, some people that maybe she doesn't know all that well. So you know how big parties can get, right? Depending on how things go, this picnic might end up being a little more rambunctious than Harmony initially bargained for. That's it for the intros. Mulligans have been completed. Let's begin the game. Let's do it. Let's go. I believe I'm first. We're going to drop a hidden thicket. Do hmm. we search on it? Hard to tell. Marisu sometimes likes to come out swinging. Uh, we'll, we'll take a free draw, though, first. Right. Uh, I think I think we will. Let's let's dare dare to dream by dropping a killer bees first. Ah. Yeah. Watch out. All right. Uh, that's what we're gonna do, and we will pass the turn. Wild, wild. You got one gold. Let's start things off with a little thing I like to call hidden cave. Hidden cave. All right. And we will take our free draw now, and we will begin asking for donations. Hey. So you guys played Nothing. Hiddens, but did not search on them. Nope. We'll pass this over to Alvin. All right. Let's go ahead and begin my turn, get my goal for turn. So for my first card, I will play Misty Landscape. So this is a big, beefy location. Um, there's a lot of friends that she's invited, so she's going to need a lot of space. All right, and I'll take my free draw. Okay, so let's see. For my one gold, I'm going to go ahead and spend that to play Restraining Order. Because oh. there's at least one friend that didn't get invited, and this might this friend might show up anyway, so Harmony's brought some contingency. Interesting. All right, and I'll pass the turn like that. All right. The way you noticed our hiddens was almost threatening that you were going to punish <laughs> us. Not so. <laughs> All right. Start my turn, gain my gold, and a free draw for the turn. It seems good. I think it'll just be putting Mauricio into play. Show up. He's uh, ready to take some notes for his new poetry. He's not writing any right now because it's, it's a little quiet out there. So we'll just... He's, he's going to search in this thicket. Fair enough. Fair enough. For future turn. He's just enjoying and the bees. We'll the yeah. Pass the turn. Nice. Turn two. Gold. Phase counter. For Astral Donations. Phase one. Which means I get... One extra gold. Sweet. Sweet. Redraw. Let's take it now. Nice, nice, nice. I'm going to play a little thing called the Harmless Kitten. All right, all right. A Harmless Kitten in a Mia deck. Harmless Kitten. Harmless Kitten. And then we're going we're gonna to play Statue of the Fierce Hunter. We're going to play Statue of the Fierce hmm. Hunter. Yeah. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to add some HP to our little Harmless Kitten there. Or uh, defensive points. We're going to plus that. Plus one. Bob Ross would be very happy of this little kitten right here, right here. Yeah, just that um, happy little kitten. Happy yeah. little kitten. Our little secret. Believe, it, believe it in himself. Yeah, happy you little know, strength. Nick understands. Mauricio understands. Harmony understands. That's why we're going to become ferocious on the killer bee. <sighs> Get out of here. Not deadly, yeah, but absolutely. now a tutu. Come on. What's yeah, going on? <laughs> absolutely. It's happening. Become ferocious. 
killer bees. All right. Well, there's definitely a lot of mischief going on right off the hmm. bat. Pass turn. All right. Turn two. Get my two gold. Draw a card. Ah, what are we going to do about this? All right. So here's what we're going to do. For one gold, I'm going to play my second restraining order. Because <laughs> why not? And then for my second gold, I'm going to play obstructive roadblock. Now, I think... Since Nick has already invested in this hidden, it's got to be this one. I'm going to go ahead and name this hidden thicket as my imprint. Makes sense. Yeah, I think that's that's all I'll do for this turn. Pass it over to you, Nick. Good, responsible gaming. Keeping them down. All right, let's gain our gold for the turn. And do we make room or do we, do we try to pop off? You know what, Nick? I just realized you played this without... Uh, oh, darn. Yeah. Uh, I can I can play I can play a location. I've been holding this familiar road. I haven't drawn a card this turn, so you'll trust me, and I will just declare it as purple. Dude, relax. Yeah. So this let's pretend I played that last turn. Everything was cool, and I'll just get to make decisions this turn. This is even easier because I can use my free draw. You know, win win. Yeah. Perfect. We take those. Yeah. All right. So less than king this turn. Let's take a free draw. All right. And uh, yeah, since that decision was made last turn, I'm I am aligned to purple. This turn, we will drop preparation for my future turns to demoralize. Ooh, okay. Aww. All right. Maybe maybe I'll be removing some stuff. Maybe not. We'll see. And I don't think I'm getting hostile because of these uh, this very strange picnic over here, which is just telling people not to come to the picnic. I mean, a restraining order Nobody for an come. insect is just bug spray, right? This is just yeah. two cans of big old bug spray. Oh, I think it's the bees can kitten smell kitten it. So they're they're not interested. We'll we'll just pass. Okay. I mean, I guess we'll just have to we'll just take the turn, guys, and we'll just have to add three gold. But see, we're in phase two, so uh, we gain one more gold. See, and uh, we still have ourselves a free draw, and that's special. I'm going to take it now. Um, the free draw seems like a good time to uh, play a little thing I like to call the Adventurer's Journal. Uh, I'm going to play Adventurer's Journal. I'm going to activate Adventurer's Journal. And I'm going to uh, fetch a non-unique location card by looking at my deck. All right. I put Crowded Farmstead into my hand, Sounds and good. I reshuffle my deck. And I would like to play Crowded Farmstead. Cool. Big surprise. Surprise. And with that, I am passing my turn to Al. All right. My turn. Get my gold for turn. Take my free draw. We got our cans of bug spray. So let's just go ahead and play another location, Familiar Road. I'm going to choose for its imprint, Green. And then we're going to play our first guest to the picnic, Eldrian, famed explorer. So he's actually really early. He's even there before Harmony. He figured he'd actually be there early. So I'm going to activate his arrival ability. So Peaceful Landscape, that's a location I'll be taking. And I'll go ahead and play it. Go mm -hmm, ahead and mm -hmm. pass the turn that way. Cool, cool. My turn will start with some gold and some phase counters and a free draw. All right. So we will go with Welcome Settlers for two. Wow. I will produce two settler tokens. Um, howdy, y'all. Commence the settling. Yep. There they are. This is done. And with one gold, I am going to reap the harvest. Ain't <sighs> three gold. I am full of denizens. Money, 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 money. Yep. So that was basically free. Money. I'm in the active zone. And then I'm going to play a grand fish market. Oh, geez. Wow. Says, draw a card if I control two more denizens and light to green. I sure do. Yeah, I'll you sure that. do. Then we'll play three or Yumi, the Wow. Abitur. All right. Right. He's around. I will play another grand, but this time it is the theater. Wow. Its arrival says purple denizens if I control two or more, and I do. Look at these unique denizens helping each other out. Draw one card. What a crazy turn. Turn in the corner here. Well, <laughs> we're not really around the corner. We're we're off the off the starting line, right? Yeah. Okay. Um I have another card type to play this turn. Not for one. So I believe we will uh, activate Yumi, Avid Painter's inspiration. Mm -hmm. And I'll score three points for the tactic and the location and the denizen that I played. Correct. Because of that, I will make an artwork token. Beautiful. Good thing there's no greedy merchants on the field, am I right? <laughs> I mean, two gold by itself is still pretty good. It's yeah. true. 
Don't want that to go forward, kids. I think we should use it. Turn. So yeah, we will uh, have the artwork be sold for two gold. Cash, dollars, cash Nero. money, right there. Our yeah, definitely cashing in, and then play supportive friends for two. Oh, uh, nothing man. better than counting money. Than, friends, nothing yeah. better. Friends, this is this is a story of happiness and friendship so far, and they're going to be like, hey, everyone, I'm activating Rolling ability. In. We're going to we're going to gain two more points when I score points this turn, and that oh, will be. Man. When the story turns a little bit dark. The poem is telling a nasty tale where the killer bees, no longer deadly but still in fighting shape, swarm after Eldrian. Oh, poor Eldrian! So close to being at the picnic. All right, so I score four points. That's right, four two in total. Mauricio and two from the two from the Mauricio friend. on the board. That's right. And then I have an activation I can use of Demoralize, which will give up to two oh. damage, minus one, minus one. And it's still it's still dark in here. It's kind of, what's going on? These settlers, they just got here, but Mauricio is so sad to see them go. I will use it on them. Score four this more points. This genius! Yeah, crazy. This genius. Holy cow. All right. So much Turn gold used. six, Mauricio? Not so. All right. Uh, we have one more action we can do. I can abandon the location. Let's make it uh, this familiar road. Yep. Thank you very much, sir. You draw one more card. This man hasn't stopped having three plus cards. Alrighty. Well, with all of that action out of the way, I am going to leave it to you guys. So pass the turn. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's quite the... That's a hard act to follow. Yeah, that's a hard act to Spooky. follow, yeah. Hmm. Good thing I'm getting more money. I activate. Ask for donations for the Final time for phase three, giving me five gold. All right. And that settles this up. I have a free draw that I will take now. And this party's kind of getting crazy. Let's play Statue of the Great Conqueror. Cool. And that gives my harmless kitten another plus one on defense. Nice. And... I'm going to put, finally, one counter into each of Crowded Farmstead and Hidden Cave. But where is the removal, good sir? <laughs> I need some. <laughs> for for Alvin, I, I mean, remove those items over there. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, leave my bucks spray alone. <laughs> and I will expend two more gold to activate Adventurer's Journal. And I will fetch a non-unique location card. I grab the exploration vessel and I put it into my hand. Nice. And I put it on the field. Cool. There it is. There it is. I will pass my turn to you, Alvin. All right. I'm very so... passive today. Passive. I'm just exploring and I'm making mischief. Please. All right. The embodiment of that kitten, for sure. Need, need more mischief, George. But anyways, uh, get, get my goal for the turn. Uh, all right, I desperately need to draw into my removal. Free draw! No, no luck. Um, all right. Well, it's possible Nick doesn't win the game next turn. So if I draw my removal next turn, maybe. So I think this maybe. turn, I'm going to go ahead and sell one of my restraining orders to get extra gold. And for three of that gold, I'm going to play Harmony. And now Harmony has finally arrived at her own event. Uh, she's ready to welcome her guests. The first of the guests hey. will be Lorene, Whoa. safety inspector. Hey. So I'll go ahead and play Lorene. When she enters play, uh, she's going to get plus zero, plus one because of Harmony's triggered ability and also score me two points. All right. Let's just, let's just end it like that and hope Nick gives us one more turn in this game. <laughs> Pass it uh, over to you. I don't know about that. All right. Let's uh, start by gaining our gold for the turn. One more phase counter. And we will pick our free draw. Well, if they're hoping for removal, i got to make the most out of Yumi. Because she would not come back. That's right. Not my champion. So, oh, even though it exposes me to even more removal, I think what we'll do is we'll play a Killer Bees. Mm. Oh! A Work the Fields. All right. Future Tokens. And then, uh, we don't get to activate the support of friends due to gold concerns of all that. 
Uh, for one more gold, I will scold. Up to two denizens get minus one, minus one. Who would I that be? I will pick. I think it's going to be the bees. And I want my things to stick around. If they... Oh, I also have demoralized to remove my own things. Wait, can I win this turn then? Oh, maybe uh -oh. I do. He's not sure, folks. Oh, yeah. The scold, yeah. All right. I miscounted, so we're just going to go for it. So the be on the scold, on the killer bees, and the supportive friends. All right. For, uh, being there for their friends. How dare you? So the bees are gone. There? And I gained two points from Mauricio. Yep. And then at, uh, Yumi knows that I played a tactic and a denizen and a campaign. So I will use the inspiration to gain three more points. Oh. But it took me to play that's an artwork that won't really matter. We like having artwork around. Mauricio is very inspired by it. Uh, so much so that he's distracted by the demoralization of Yumi and the support of friends who leave him. For wow. Wow, 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 Tur wow, wow. We just turboed to 20. Yo, that was Mauricio so sweep. insane. An 11 turn point the top turn into a 9 no point turn. Geez. Yeah. Geez. Oh, yeah. You've just had, uh, you see Yumi good. down. That's She's got to come and go. You got to get rid of her. Yeah. Man. Wow. What was, yo. About All right. Once. So, George, help me out here. Why in the world did you turn his killer bees ferocious? Because if you had used it on your own harmless kitten, that would have taken care of Yumi and that would have bought us like at least two more turns in this game i want to say i wasn't so, i wasn't even thinking that he was going to kill use his own bees as a method of just but, but why slight, why like, buff his why buff his killer bees he the bees can't attack your kitten anyways i know but i didn't want him i didn't want him sweeping you and taking you out of the fight early from anything that you could potentially put like i didn't i didn't know what his game plan was it was the only thing on the field besides my harmless kitten but i wanted to keep my harmless kitten's ability as a smoke screen for whenever when mia joins the fray that's the whole that's the point like mm. I, I i have the other harmless kitten in my hand so i should have probably done that that would have been an amazing turn one but i didn't do it and did you did you look at my did you look at my hand look at my hand right, you'll right. be like oh george yeah well that is a very interesting build for mia i will i will give you that yeah unfortunately my removal was also really Really far into the deck as well, so I couldn't have guessed he had the Yumi. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's true. she came in real handy. That uh, came out in the Yumi came out. Like, oh, you have okay. Yumi's here. Okay, all yeah. right, cool. What does what's would have been? A, oh, sweet. Would have been a fourteen, maybe, maybe not, because the artwork pushed me a little bit above. That's right. So the artwork maybe around like helped. twelve or fourteen. But uh, if not for her, I would have been kind of worried because your zero, your zero uh, attack denizens. You're, they're not going to let me attack into them for free. That's free right. Points. They they were supposed to just have a peaceful picnic, right? And actually, yeah. you know what? The silver lining is um, because there was this uh, awesome poet, you know, serenading the whole field yeah. and writing poetry. Some of it was a little dark, not going to lie, but uh, yeah. uh, it, 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 it made the whole event really enjoyable. And, yeah, like even though even though Harmony invited like a whole bunch of people, um, Eldrian showed up. He, he ran away because of the bees. Really, only yeah. only one person showed up to her picnic, but it ended up being awesome. Like she had a great time. It was and late. Now she knows who her she real friend it. is. Wow. <laughs> so I, I think that's the silver lining of this episode for for Harmony. Nice. So yeah. Nick, I mean, that was an insane showing from a Mauricio deck. I think that just goes to show what happens if there isn't a way to interact with the hand or the deck. That was so insane. Having a reap the harvest for a big burst of gold uh, means that you want to like make a really explosive play, um, and you don't get to do that without some card backup. So uh, I was I was I feel like I was kind of lucky. This deck doesn't go crazy on card draw or anything like that. But I had two really uh, free ones, right? The uh, two free ones. The grand cycle really useful when you're putting tokens out there, lots of denizens. So that's you know, right. The take grand fish market of, and the grand theater for sure. Yeah, same turn. I had the denizens. Thanks to a token maker, right? I wouldn't have two green denizens. Oh, I would have. I had the bees out still. But even so, uh, yeah. it was it was you know low to the ground. Well, not trying to do anything too tricky with it. It's just like remove your denizens, and uh, you know if Yumi wasn't along to help, uh, we would not be there yet. We would have been ahead. But, That's right. Uh, that, that there's a huge explosion because she also generates gold, right? So once you see those things in your hand, if you can like flip them together, you get a huge tempo boost. Yeah, yeah, and you know what? I just noticed as you're saying that. 
demoralized targeted only your own stuff so that is a very creative use it's like so so many amazing plays all in a row thank you thank you yeah and i think it just shows the power of two artists working together right you got a painter That's and a right. poet i mean yeah the combination they're putting, together, they're putting together a storybook not just the epic poetry not just the paintings they're bringing it together for yeah like a graphic novel or something wow the artistry the artistry heck yeah all right well that'll do it for today's episode we hope you had as much fun watching as we did playing before we sign off for today we'd like to remind you that we rely on viewers like you to help our channel grow liking subscribing and sharing are easy and free ways to show your support if you're interested in joining us for a future episode feel free to reach out and let us know in the comments you can also leave comments to help us improve or just to tell us what you'd like to see next please join us again next week for more champions of meander gameplay bye bye for now